When you're traveling for the holidays, they always say, expect the unexpected. Our travel editor, Peter Greenberg, is here with some surprises, both good and bad, in his list of five things that will stun you about air travel. Good morning. Good to good see morning. you. Good morning. So you have some secrets? I, have, I know there are some travel secrets, but yeah. I, I, I dare you to shock me. Okay, I will. All I'm right. going to give you secret flights. Mm -hmm. These are flights that are officially published. They're in the schedule, but nobody knows it. And they don't know that the airlines that I'm about to tell you actually fly those routes. I love that. So if you want to fly from New York to Vancouver, mm -hmm. most people think Air Canada. Cathay Pacific, the Hong Kong airline, has right. a nonstop every day that nobody knows about. And the price is actually less. No kidding. You want to go from Los Angeles to London? Mm -hmm. Who knew that Air New Zealand flies that route? Right. There are, so are these uh, yeah. just part, like, a leg of what would be their normal route to their final destination? Right. The flight from Los Angeles to London on Air New Zealand actually starts in New Zealand. Okay? <laughs> of course. And the flight that goes from New York to Vancouver on mm -hmm. Cathay stops in Hong Kong. Right. There are some other incredible ones. New York to Brussels, who would ever know that Jet Airways, an Indian airline, flies the route? But the biggest sleeper of all, and my favorite, yes. Los Angeles to Sao Paulo. Who flies that? You're never going to guess it. Varig. Close. Korean Airlines. <laughs> <laughs> oh, doggone it. And by the way, Korean Airlines it's, has turned into one really good airline lately. Right. And nobody knows it. So the good thing is they're either competitive on rates right. uh, or their rates are less or they have better service and they're less crowded because nobody knows. Other than our website at the end of this, yeah. where would people go to find this kind of secret? It's called human being. Because the myth is that all the inventory is on the web. It's not. It's the inventory that the airlines and the hotels display on the web. Right. You need to talk to a human being and say, can you tell me mm. every airline that flies this route? For mm -hmm. example, you want to go from New York to Frankfurt? Right. Who knew that Singapore Airlines flies it? <laughs> I never would have guessed. You think Lufthansa, of, of course. course. And they do fly it. Yes. But a different way to go. All right. All right. I love that. You really did. You, you, did I do okay? You took the bet and okay. you, you ran with it. Okay. I like it a lot. Now, you have another uh, stunner here, security loopholes. Yeah, like this is, this is, is going to stun you in a bad way. Every day in this country, U.S. airlines are carrying 12 million pounds of cargo on the very plane that you're flying, and the TSA is still no, not inspecting. Still not. Over eight years after 9-11, they're not even close. Now, there's a bill in Congress that was done by Representative Markey that required mm. them to get it all done by August of next year. They're not even at the 50% mark now. Now, they're strip-searching nuns looking for tweezers, you understand. Sure. But they're not inspecting 12 million pounds of cargo a day for plastics, explosives, or other incendiary items. We had that conversation a hundred times yes. in the years afterwards. Absolutely. Car and it's still not paying. It's all about the money. They don't want to spend the money. Uh, let's talk about expensive airports. What are what, yeah. what would be the most expensive airport? In, a, in what way do you mean? Meaning that the people flying to there or through there or the people living in those cities are paying more on average for their airline tickets okay. than anybody else. This one will surprise you. Huntsville, Alabama. Huntsville, Alabama, the people who live there are spending on average more than $400 a ticket to go anywhere. Wow. Now, by comparison, the least expensive airport? Surprise me. Long Beach, California. Oh, okay. An average about $216. Yeah, I know people who yeah. live in Southern California yeah. and make a point to fly out of Long Beach for the convenience and the cost. And not only that, all these great alternative airports, Fort Lauderdale, so much less expensive to fly out of Fort Lauderdale than my worst favorite airport in America, Miami, I mean, which uh, is the last flight out of Saigon. Can so, be, it can be know. a very difficult place Absolutely. to fly out of. Uh, give, me some, give me a secret uh, uh, credit card. Well, this is a bad one, too, and that is foreign transaction fees that credit card companies will sneak on your credit card bill, at, ranging from 1% to 3% of the actual purchase price on anything you spend overseas if you don't do your homework ahead of time, meaning not every credit card company has those fees. Uh, but if you don't ask ahead of time, you get home, talk about sticker shock, make sure that your bank has a waiver in there. Or, And by the way, they're not just doing it on the credit cards, mm -hmm. they're doing it on the debit cards. All right, last but not least, what's the dirtiest thing in your hotel room? Well, I've told us about this for years. It used to be the remote control unit. Yeah. Uh, followed by the bedspread. Right. right. But it gets worse. Then there's the telephone company handset. Yeah. I mean, the tel yeah. But the worst one now is in the bathroom. Can you figure out which one it is? I don't want to know. Okay, I'm going to tell you. It's the water glasses. And I'm going to tell you why. Because the maids at hotels are heavily tasked. They've got to do 16 rooms per shift. Right. When they get to that 12th room and they start running out of time, they don't replace the glasses. They quickly put them in the sink and rinse them and put them back. So what you need to do, I'm going to help you out here. The minute you get into a hotel room, take yeah. the bedspread, throw it in the corner, never touch it again. Right. Get the Purell and the handy wipes on the phone and the remote control, and then go into the bathroom and <laughs> take those glasses and put them under hot water for three minutes before you ever touch them. How did I do today? Did I stun you? You, you really knocked the ball out of the Okay. Line. Really good. Peter Greenberg, as always, thank you so much. For more on travel surprises, good and bad, go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.